what's up y'all it's your girl kid love welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a vegan plant-based beef and broccoli now listen i have not made this before so i will be freestyling it but like i say if it don't turn out y'all gonna be the first to know okay <laughs> i'm just taking y'all along the journey with me it's just something that i've been wanting to make y'all so i decided to run to the store grab some oyster mushrooms i also have some organic broccoli here that i'm chopping up I'm going to scrub the oyster mushrooms, go ahead and chop these up as well. And then I think what's going to really bring this out is going to be the flavor. So we're going to see how I'm feeling, just see how this turn out. I hope it turned out good, y'all. So let's go. All right, so I have a pan here on medium heat. I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil. I'm doing something a little different. I've never cooked broccoli on the stove. I usually just throw it in the oven because it's easy and it also brings out the flavor. And I'm hoping that this will be a quicker process, but also bring out that flavor and give me a nice char. So we'll see how it goes, y'all. I'm just trying something different. Now onto these oyster mushrooms. So I went ahead and washed them off and squeezed them out really well so they're as dry as possible. And then I also have a few portobello mushrooms left over from the other day. So I'm going to throw those in there as well. And now I'm just going to cut this thick stem off the oyster mushrooms. If you feel the bottom of the oyster mushroom, it might feel a little thick. If it is, that's the stem. Cut it off and throw it away. And then I'm just going to chop up the mushrooms as I see fit. Like I said, the portobello, I'm just throwing in there because I had some left over. And I'm like, you know what? I might as well throw these in there as well and see what happens. If you're not familiar with oyster mushrooms, they are they have a nice meaty texture. They are great for meat replacement. And they're still light, but they have a nice meaty texture. I really like them. I just discovered them like a year ago, and I'm, I'm a really big fan of them. And just to clarify, y'all, these are pearl oyster mushrooms. There are different types of oyster mushrooms. These are pearl oyster mushrooms, and they are my favorite. As you can see, the broccoli is doing its thing. It's getting nice and green, more green than it was before. I'm going to go ahead and throw the mushrooms in the same pan. Just add a little bit of oil to get them going. And we're going to go ahead and work with them in the same pan. And you know what? I thought that I was going to let these mushrooms cook a bit before I started seasoning it and flavoring it. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get this thing going. The first thing I'm going to add is coconut aminos. I like to use coconut aminos because I do not use soy. Um, coconut aminos are slightly sweeter than soy, but I really like it. So we're going to start off with that. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of vegan fish sauce, y'all. I, I just add a little bit. I'm a little chicken. I don't know how that's going to turn out. And then I'm going to add some sesame oil because I think the sesame oil will bring out that nice Asian yummy sesame flavor. And I'm also going to add some minced ginger because I love ginger. And of course, have to add some minced garlic. So to add a little bit of salt, I'm going to use seasoning salt. Just keep it real basic with the salt. And then I'm going to add a little bit of smoked paprika. Y'all know I love smoked paprika. And a little bit of crushed red pepper just to add a little spice. I don't think it's going to do too much, but it'll add a little something, something. And we're going to go ahead and mix these up, mix these flavors up really good and just let it cook down a bit. And I eventually want it to get nice and charred. So we're going to, we're going to see how this turn out. For those of y'all wondering, this is the vegan fish sauce that I'm using. It's soy free. I got it from Whole Foods. I haven't used it before, but I do know that fish sauce is in a lot of Asian recipes. I think it's going to bring out that Asian flavor that I'm looking for. I'm not very familiar with this, so I just added a little bit. And then I decided to go ahead and add some garlic powder and some onion powder. I turned up the heat a bit from four to five. It's still considered medium heat, but I just wanted to turn it up a notch because I really want to focus on getting these nice and charred and get some brown on them. And I don't want to cook them down to where they get too soft before I get them nice and charred. All right, y'all. So this has been cooking for about seven minutes at this point. It's not looking as dark as I want it to be. So I decided to go ahead and add some cacao powder. I know this seems very random, but I think this is going to be a neutral flavor, but add some depth also, but really give me that color that I'm looking for. I'm looking for that, that, that brown beef steak color. You know what I'm talking about in beef and broccoli? So we're going to see if that helps. We're going to see if this helps y'all. And then I decided to also add some teriyaki sauce. This is the teriyaki coconut aminos. It's by the Coconut Secrets brand. I'm just adding a little bit and we're going to see how this goes. 
Do try and come back when you're famous. I always want the truth, but it's dangerous. And y'all, I have some green onion here that I decided to chop up. I'm going to throw that in there as well. I think that's going to add a nice, fresh flavor. You got something real, my baby. Why is this so far away? You want to get with me, stop. Dogs on this side, dogs over on this side. I'm thinking of the side About all your insecurities for what? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like speaking around the same as being done. All right, y'all, it's time to plate. And if you checked out the jerk chicken recipe that I made last week, Technically, I made it yesterday, but the video was posted last week for y'all. Then these look very familiar because these are the leftover plantains, cabbage, and white rice that I had with the jerk chicken. So I'll post that video below in case you missed it. But y'all, this is the final product, the beef and broccoli. Y'all, I'm actually liking the way it looked. The browning actually worked with the cacao powder, and I think the teriyaki sauce added it to it as well. So it's giving that nice brown color that I wanted, and it looks nice and charred, y'all. And I'm just ready to see how these flavors are going to be doing, okay? I'm really liking the way it's looking right now, y'all. But you already know I'm going to have to give you the taste this. But let's just check it out for a second. All right, y'all. Again, I wasn't planning on getting on camera, but you know I got to do a taste test for y'all since it's the first time I made this and I was winging it as usual. So let's go. Let's say our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Let's do this taste test. It's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all. Mmm-hmm. This one is a keeper. I'm about to write this one down. This one is a keeper, y'all. Oh, good. Oh, I love the charness from the broccoli and the mushrooms, especially those oyster mushrooms are giving that meaty taste, the meaty texture and taste. And um, y'all feel like I got broccoli in my teeth, so <laughs> my bad if I do, but just trying to tell y'all, man, what I'm tasting right now, I'm tasting the charness, I'm tasting garlic, I'm taking, I'm tasting like smoky meatiness, but not smoky, smoky, but like it's, I don't even know how to describe y'all this jerk. It's tasting like jerk, like not jerk like Jamaican jerk, but like it's just giving garlicky, hint of teriyaki, meaty, beefy, char, charred broccoli. Y'all, I don't know how to describe it good for y'all, but y'all, y'all need to try it. This regular, this this better than regular beef and broccoli, y'all. This one, this is good. This is good. That broccoli in the skillet. That's the first time I cook broccoli in the skillet. I just didn't feel like roasting it. It turned out good. I'm loving the char on it. I'm loving the flavor on it. It's giving that bold broccoli taste. The mushrooms, they are giving that nice meaty texture and, and flavor, that umami flavor, I guess that's what they call it. And it's just so good. Like the garlicness, the hint of teriyaki -ness. I think that fish sauce might have did something to give it that umami taste, but it has that nice Chinese undertone, Chinese food undertone, y'all. So good. Definitely a keeper. I would definitely be making this again. Like I said, I wasn't planning on getting on camera today, but I forgot I had to do the taste test for y'all. Because y'all know when it's my first time trying something, I got to let y'all know how it go, what the ensemble is doing. But I'm about to go ahead and slam on this, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. If you're going to try it, drop it in the comments below. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I post, hit the bell icon and the subscribe button. That will ensure you get notified. But until next time, y'all, it's your girl, Kid Love. Peace and love.